Hello guys, this is Vic. Welcome to my channel and thank you for viewing my videos. Today I'm in the beautiful and very historic city of Istanbul here in Turkey. I'm on the European side of Turkey and I'm about a kilometer northwest from Hagia Sophia in the area of Sultan Ahmed in Istanbul. In this particular video we're going to go inside and admire the magnificent interior of one of the most beautiful Christian, Orthodox Christian churches here in Istanbul. This is the Bulgarian church of Sveti Stefan, of Ayo Stefanos, built in 1871. If you think the exterior looks magnificent, wait until you see the interior. Your mouth will drop wide open. Trust me. So let's walk around. Let's go to the main entrance, which is here. And let's go inside. Let's avoid the noise from a busy highway right behind us. And let's enjoy this absolutely magnificent architecture. Let's do it. Okay, let's uh, go for a quick tour inside this magnificent church here in Istanbul, Turkey. The architecture is absolutely magnificent. This church was constructed in Vienna in the late 1860s. Shipped down the Danube and the Black Sea in pieces. Was assembled here in 1871, dedicated to Saint Stephan, Stephanus. Stephanos in Greek. And it is absolutely gorgeous. It will leave you speechless if you find it open. And you come inside. Let's go towards the altar and avoid the noise from the busy highway behind us. Look at this, it shines. Inside the church, the iconostasis, right behind it is the altar. It really has a mix of Eastern Orthodox architecture and design with beautiful Austro-Hungarian elements from the second half of the 19th century from the Austrian-Hungarian Empire. Let's turn around and let's enjoy the beautiful stained glass windows right there. And let's turn the camera towards the ceiling. It is beautiful, isn't it? Very rarely you find it open. And if you do, in the Fanari district of Istanbul, Fener in Turkish. Come inside and enjoy this magnificent building. It's got three naves. This is the main nave here. We can see the beautiful ceiling. There's a nave to the left right there and one to the right. Here's the pulpit. There's also a second level up there because at that time they used to design space for the women. Gorgeous, isn't it? 
It is painted in a beautiful golden paint. This is not gold that covers the iconostasis, but it will give you the impression it is pure gold because it shines so beautifully. Well, you know what? I am allowed to go upstairs to the second level, so let's interrupt this video for just a few seconds. Let's take the steps right from the main entrance of the church. And let's go to the top because the architecture of this church is so absolutely magnificent. We need to come up here. Oh my goodness, look at this. Wow, I'm speechless actually. From the beautiful view that I get up here. The ceiling. The altar in the far distance. And the panoramic view from up here. think I'm so thankful I found it open it is uh, built in the shape of a cross by the way the altar and the entrance behind me are the vertical part of the cross the longest part of the cross and then just before the altar, on both sides, you see the horizontal part of the cross extending. Very, very typical of Eastern Orthodox churches. And just before we go downstairs and we finish with the video, let's go as close as we can. below at the altar. Now I need to tell you as well that the Bulgarians appeared in front of the gates of the Byzantine Empire around 6 AD after Christ. They raided many parts of the empire until they settled eventually became Christian and adopted the Slavic language that they speak today. Let's go downstairs and let's finish this beautiful video. This is Vic, thank you for joining me. This was the magnificent Bulgarian church of Saint Stefan. Sveti Stefan, if I say that correctly in Bulgarian. In Istanbul, Turkey, built in 1871 for the Bulgarian community of Constantinople of Istanbul. Now the Bulgarian community has settled here since the ninth century. after Christ inside the Byzantine Empire and a community was created here and eventually they got their own church, this one, one of the most beautiful churches, Orthodox churches in Turkey. Bye-bye.